Unleashing the power of put through in English. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to focus on an important aspect of English learning, phrasal verbs. Specifically, we will focus on the phrasal verb put through. So, if you've been looking for ways to enrich your English vocabulary and sound more like a native speaker, this video is just for you. Let's get started. When we talk about the phrasal verb put through, it's important to understand that it has multiple meanings depending on the context. One of the most common uses of put through is when it's used to express the act of connecting a phone call to someone. Another common meaning is when it's used to signify causing someone to experience a difficult or unpleasant situation. Don't worry, we'll look at examples to clarify these meanings shortly. When used in the context of a phone call, put through means to connect a caller to another person. For example, you might hear this in an office setting or when you're calling a customer service hotline. Example, could you please put me through to the manager? In this sentence, the speaker is asking to be connected to the manager via a phone call. Put through can also mean to make someone experience a difficult or unpleasant situation. Example, she was put through a lot of stress during the project. In this sentence, the speaker is expressing that someone experienced a high amount of stress during a project. The best way to learn and remember phrasal verbs is by using them. Try creating your own sentences using put through in both contexts we discussed today. Remember, practice makes perfect. And that wraps up our video on the phrasal verb, put through. I hope you now feel more confident in using this phrasal verb in your daily English conversations. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to replay this video if you need a refresher. As always, thank you for watching and happy learning. We'll catch up in our next video.